everyone, and welcome to Talk Thursdays. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Mike Thompson, who's also one of our Elevate experts. So for those of you who are not familiar, Elevate is our online course for business owners. It's found on ZetaCorp.com. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Pascal Hansen. I'm the CEO, co-founder, and financial strategist for Zeta. And I'm also a tech chair with Tech Canada. And I run a CEO group in the Lower Mainland. Thanks for being with me today, Mike. You're very welcome. Nice to be here. So I'm going to let you introduce yourself and give a bit of a bio so people know who you are. And then I'm going to ask you questions about all the great content that you have. OK, well, thank you, uh, Pasco. Great to be here. So my name is Mike Thompson. I've recently retired from Royal Roads University, where I, I taught in the MBA program. I was the academic lead for uh, the final residency, which involved a, a live, live case with various companies. A very exciting process. I'm also the co-author of Business Diagnostics, which is a, a book that's been targeted at business students and also business owners, and it uh, shows people how to assess their corporate health. I'm also keeping busy by providing um, a number of one-hour seminars, and today, with Pascal's uh, kind guidance, I'm going to speak briefly about those four seminars, and hopefully this, this information may resonate with the audience. Yeah, so there's, there's one. So it doesn't matter what size of business you are from startup to mature company. At some point, we'll always need bank financing, right? That's always a really big issue. So you've got a great presentation called Getting the Bank to Say Yes. So can you talk a little bit about that and what you teach in that? Absolutely, yes. In terms of the banking uh, presentation, I'm just going to just make a few notes, bring a few notes up as well there too here. So um, I got a background in commercial banking. I was a senior banker for both BMO and TD over uh, many years. And uh, that was that was my transition point into um, a career of management consulting and uh, academia. In terms of um, getting the bank to say yes, um, why why the title? Um, it's I found that it's very uh, time consuming and challenging uh, for business owners to uh, obtain bank financing, and so I put together a um, a pretty uh, fast paced uh, one hour presentation on the different steps that you need to take to um, basically uh, have a successful interaction with uh, your friendly local banker. Yeah, I've, I've certainly found that a lot of people don't understand why credit scores are really important and what the underwriters look at from the commercial banking side. So it's a great topic. Another one that I really like is do nothing and pray is not an option. I think in life and in business, if you don't make a decision or you procrastinate, then a decision will be made for you. I think the the topic relates to business transition and succession planning. So talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. Um, again, it, in a way, it kind of follows on from the uh, getting the bank to say yes. Uh, once you've got your bank financing in place and you've built a good, strong relationship with the banker, you know, ultimately down the road, there will come a time when you come to a fork in the proverbial fork in the road and uh, do nothing and pray um, is not an option. It's a title. It's somewhat tongue in cheek, but I've encountered a lot of business owners that really don't know how to go about uh, executing a successful transition and succession strategy. In fact, what they tend to do is say a few Hail Marys and hopefully they'll meet somebody at a conference who'll buy their business. And sadly, life isn't that easy as well there too. So I've developed what I call an enterprise transition plan, which every business owner contemplating retirement should complete um, in, in concert with their trusted advisory team, which will be probably their CPA and their lawyer. So um, it's a really it's, it's very important in that latest research data shows that there's a huge amount of enterprises that will soon be divested within Canada and the USA uh, with the boomer generation uh, grappling with complex succession and uh, exit issues. So um, when I do the uh, seminar, it's about an hour long. Um, we do a size up of a company's business, which is really a situation assessment. And then um, we, we show the, uh, the audience how to complete their own review and selection of the best possible transition pathways. And I've come up based on my research, uh, basically with five different pathways. Um, very, very quickly, um, there is, uh, if you have a family business, you can certainly sell from within. 
Uh, you can do external sales to private equity funds or strategic buyers. Uh, you can also um, do um, an internal sale again with uh, uh, an MBO um, with your key management team. And if all else fails, you can also undertake a harvesting strategy. So I, I go through those those options basically with regard to the audience there. And so the key question I tend to ask people when they come to these seminars is, um, do you have a clearly defined business transition strategy with a formalized succession plan? And it's amazing the number of companies that don't have that in place. So my my kind of snappy and sharp one hour presentation gives people a lot of insight around that important topic. It sounds like a very good starting point. And based on the stats around how many businesses want to sell, the percentage is very small in terms of the companies that have a successful transition or Indeed. exit. So that's a really good starting point. So another seminar you talk about is the science and art of business development, the missing link between marketing and sales. So I have certainly experienced that in my career. There, I've worked for many companies where it was always a pet peeve of mine because I was in corporate sales and I knew what prospects and business owners wanted. And then marketing created beautiful collateral that didn't address any of those pain points. So I always thought it's just such a waste. You know, we have to communicate, you know, create something that the prospects want to see. So from your perspective, um, what's your experience? Well, I, I built this seminar based upon my experience uh, in business development in two very different areas. Um, um, so the first one was in, in, in the rather hard-nosed world of commercial banking. Uh, I was a senior manager of business development for TD Bank, and I had the uh, a five-year mandate to build their market share on Vancouver Island. So I learned a lot about that, um, going out and calling on different companies, working with them to bring them on board with, um, with TD Bank. I also, when I changed careers and went into academia, I was also appointed a vice president of business development at Royal Roads University. And my job again was to build market share with regards to our various academic programs. So once I'd done those uh, two different functions, I, I sat back and thought, well, there's some interesting stuff I've learned. So hence the topic uh, or the title, Science and Art of Business Development. And so really business development is the creation of strategic alliances and partnerships, which tend to lead to relationship-based referrals. So it, it really is truly uh, the middle sort of uh, piece between marketing and sales. And so it's, it's really important in that um, – it builds really what I call a client-centric culture and orientation within a company. And again, I've got a one-hour uh, seminar that really takes the audience uh, through my my insights around you know business development. It truly is a science. You can be very, very sort of um, thoughtful and pragmatic and project-oriented in in mapping out a strategy. But also, there's an art as well there too. In particular, uh, positioning yourself as a trusted advisor. So. Um, so I found that this this uh, seminar is both pragmatic and action centric, um, and what we do with the audience is is build a, a new client attraction plan. And again, I've got some fantastic feedback from people who have been to that seminar as well. That sounds good. I like that phrase, attracting your clients, because I think that's part of the art part of it, right? Indeed it is. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And your last seminar, the corporate. MRI, that's the lesson you have in Elevate as well. How to quickly assess your corporate health. Yes, um, this one really is uh, based upon uh, our, our book, um, Business Diagnostics. Um, I, I co-authored this book with uh, Richard Mimic and Terry Rakowski. Uh, and it's been out now about probably 15 odd years. We've sold about 3,000 copies um, to a wide variety of company owners and MBA students. What we do there, Pascal, is we build basically uh, an approach around what we call size up grids. But it's really, in essence, it's, it's all about sitting down with a company and figuring out where they're at. So we call it a fancy word for that is a situation assessment. But really, it's, it's really taking stock of your own corporate health there. And we have a series of these grids um, that map out the external environment, the internal environment, and then the various um, strategic pathways that companies can take and so uh, again we found this approach to be really valuable for companies it, it's not rocket science it's just really uh, in a way um 
showing people rather than going to an external consultant or uh, an external um, accounting firm, perhaps you can actually do your own uh, internal uh, assessment and we show you how to do that. And, and from that, uh, we have a process that leads people to develop action plans and then, of course, execution and implementation strategies. So, again, it's one hour seminar. It's uh, it's very uh, fast paced, but also very pragmatic. And again, uh, based on past audience uh, testimony, audience testimonials and feedback, uh, it's been a big success. Yeah, and I love the title. So you you check on your physical health, you go to the doctor, you want to know what's going on so you can fix it. And that's certainly where our firm comes in because we'll bring all the relevant experts to a business owner. So whatever they need fixed in their company, that's where we can uh, introduce vetted experts. So really, really great content. So tell us a little bit about where we can find you. Uh, for anyone interested in contacting you, what's the best place to find you well we, we have a website uh www.ceobusinessdiagnostics.com and if you go to the website uh there's a complete uh listing of our seminars also more information about the book also we have a number of uh diagnostic tools that can be used um in terms of of, of uh where we're going with this um i have been uh, piloting a new uh, innovation, which I call the corporate MRI. And I've been using it uh, in the MBA programs at Royal Roads and also with um, a selection of, of uh, past clients as well. And it's a process where you can sit down and map out 15 key areas and you assess them, giving them a score of one to five. And from that, you can very quickly determine where the pain points are with the company. And again, I found that is a really good way of kickstarting a process to give yourself an annual checkup. Um, I really believe that sometimes um, strategic planning exercises can be rather overblown. Uh, they'll last a couple of days, they involve a retreat. There's a lot of that kind of stuff goes on. It probably could be deemed as valuable, but in terms of time efficiency, I found that I'm able to get out with clients, use the corporate MRI and pretty much Within the course of three or four hours, an early morning start, wrap up over lunch, uh, we're able to get a really good fix on where the company's at. So we're very happy with that process and it seems to be working very, very well. That's why you make a great tech workshop speaker. We get it done faster. No reason to uh, spend several days and lots of money outside of your business to get it done. So we Absolutely. appreciate that. Fantastic. Just to finish off, I'm going to ask you a random question that I ask all my guests. It has nothing to do with business. And that question is, if you could have dinner with someone, dead or alive, famous or infamous, who would that person be and why? Well, that's a very interesting one, actually. That's uh, I wasn't expecting that question, so I'll kind of like try and figure out something on the fly here fairly quickly. I, I was going to use words like maybe or people like perhaps Winston Churchill or other famous leaders. Um, actually, a person that I'd like to talk to would be Jeff Bezos right. um, of uh, Amazon fame. Um, you know, I, I've really admired the way that he has built that enterprise, how it's diversified into cloud computing. Uh, he strikes me as being a, an extremely interesting character. He's um, he, he's moved into the field of journalism with the Washington Post. So I think if I had, you know, um, an hour to chat with Jeff about what his success is and where he sees the world going, I think I'd find that very helpful. Yeah, I, I would love to do that too. Good choice. So thank you so much, Mike, as always. I appreciate you. I appreciate the time. And for everyone listening, check out Elevate. You can get a free 14-day trial and you can learn from Mike there as well. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, thank you very much.